Today I want to talk about uh, another show that is 55 years old this year. Um, might not be too much to say about this considering the series didn't last too long. Um, but I have mentioned something regarding it in the past and I thought I should probably get to uh, the original, uh, you know, show that that show uh you know came from originally um and that show is of course space ghost and dino boy um i recently well not necessarily recently but this year i actually got this um on amazon it was um at, at a very good deal it was probably i think it was like fifteen dollars or so it was like, I think it was during a sale on Amazon.com, uh, but I didn't realize that the Blu-ray of this show uh, was even a thing. I have the DVD, but that's somewhere over uh, in a bunch of stuff on their shelves or somewhere. Um, it's been a while since I uh, watched the DVD version of this uh, show. Um, but, um, you know, I watched that quite a bit um of course i mentioned space goes coast to coast before showed the two dvds that you could only get on amazon or not amazon um adultswim.com because the first three which had like the first four seasons were available in stores but then volume four came out and that was a, like an adult swim exclusive all episodes of the fifth season season six and seven came out on volume uh, uh, five um, but volume six with the last season that at least aired on TV that people knew of because they did have like a few more seasons later on on like a website called game tap um, but for whatever reason they never released season six and then sometime later, the Adult Swim store was, like, just gone. I don't know why. Um, and so you really can't uh, get, like, those DVDs anymore. Um, um, but, you know, also, um, they had, of course, the original series. You know, they had uh, of Space Ghost. Warner Brothers released that. Um, you know, the DVD, you know. Really, it was only one extra that is imported here about, uh, it's called the Simplicity, the Life and Art of Alex Toth. Um, of course, he uh, designed Space Ghost. And, yeah. Uh, you know, as all 22 episodes, um, the first uh, 20 have Dino Boy. <clears throat> You know, there's, you know, each uh, episode, I guess you could say, has like segments or so. And each segment has, you know, each episode had two space ghosts. And in the middle was uh, Dino Boy. Um, and Dino Boy, you know, uh, I remember when, like in the 2000s, they would play... All these old shows like Space Ghost and Dino Boy, as well as Birdman and all these action uh, Hanna Barbera cartoons that are mixed with like uh, Flintstones and Jetsons and all those other classic uh, Hanna Barbera shows and characters that people know. Um, you know, the late '90s and early 2000s there was a block of just you know, you know uh, called boomerang uh, here in america at least and they would have all these old cartoons space ghost was one of them and of course i loved space ghost coast to coast so i thought it'd be obviously great to watch the original show that this came from and i enjoyed it you know action uh show um action animated show um space ghost was my favorite just because i thought it was just a more interesting character. I mean, Harvey or you know, Harvey Birdman came later in 
terms of a name. That was on Space Ghost Coast to Coast, and of course had his own show later on Adult Swim. But you know, Birdman was great. You know, they're Herculoids, and you know, and he actually uh, the last few episodes crosses over because the, uh, the the last two instead of having Dino Boy as the middle, they just have Space Ghost, and it's like the Council of Doom, which features you know villains like Zorak, Moltar, Brack. Uh, Lokar, Black Widow, Metallus, Tanzit. Uh, there's also like the Creature King. I remember his and the other villains he meets, but you know, some of those villains were only seen once and never really caught on. Um, uh, there was like a Bultor or whatever, like a yellow version of Moltar, yellow and white, where Moltar was like red and like gray or blue, grayish blue suit, yeah. and the ovens of Moltor, and uh, Lava Planet, um, very interesting stuff, Rewatching this, this, like, I got this in the spring, so I watched it pretty here and there often throughout uh, this year and uh, it was really fun to rewatch. Um, now I remember initially I went on Dino Boy um, but with Dino Boy uh, the segments themselves aren't necessarily bad exactly but you know I, I like Space Ghost more and I think a lot of people do I mean, they're not bad segments at all. Dino Boy. Uh, Ugh, Ugg the Caveman. Um, but, um, I think if I rewatch these again, I might skip over uh, Dino Boy segments, uh, at least more frequently. There are some episodes that are pretty good. Um, but, I, uh, I think I'm fine if I just, you know, primarily just watch Space Ghost uh, for me. Um, in all two on, or 22 episodes on two discs. And uh, the table of contents, instead of having like a little thing right here, they have them all on the discs so you can see every episode is uh, laid out on these discs. Um, because there's, you know, or 20 episodes, I'm sorry. I don't know why I thought 22. Um, uh, now, it has been a little while since I have watched all this, so I couldn't recall um, exactly how many, but I wasn't too far off. You know, there's, you know, 20 episodes, so, you know, each disc has 10, and the second disc has the special feature. Um, but yeah, this is a, um, it's it's a it's very good uh, a very uh, good addition if you enjoy the Space Ghost at all, you know the original series. You have the, you know, the uh, DVD and you didn't know about the Blu-ray, just like I didn't until this year. You know, might want to pick it up. It was fairly cheap, and I think it probably would be, I think fifteen dollars. It would be a Good amount. Of I I can actually I can actually leave a link, like in the uh, description or the uh, uh, you know a comment section. You know, and pin that. Uh, if anybody would want to check this out. Uh, but yeah, of course. I mean, granted, it was fifteen dollars or so when I got it. Uh, so you know. Might not be that much, but it, it's not that expensive, I wouldn't imagine, from that time, really, of this year. Um, this is a very good uh, addition, though. Um, it, it looks and sounds really good, so it is a definite upgrade if you do have the DVD uh, edition, which was not at all bad. It was a very good edition for uh, the time it came out in. But yeah, they do uh, do a really great job of uh, getting the uh, 
uh, quality, the sound and everything. Uh, looking uh, and sounding excellent, you know, great quality. Uh, one thing about uh, this is that, you know, with when it came to the character of Brack, you know, there was also Sisto, you know, the guy who worked with him on a here and there throughout this series. You know, there'd be episodes where they had called him Brack, and then they would call him, like, Brock. Like, they were pronouncing the A like, as, like, an O or something like that. Maybe that was how it was supposed to be pronounced or something, but... Um, of course, by Space Goes to Coast to Coast, everyone just calls him Brack, because, like, uh, in the first appearance, yeah, you know, like, he was called Brack. And then I guess the cast or... Uh, somebody when they were recording suggested or something like they call him Brock instead of Brack. I don't know why, but that's just something that I thought was interesting when I rewatched it. Like I remembered that I thought that's interesting. That's odd and interesting like, that they would they call him uh, they pronounce the name differently. Uh, I'm trying to think, um, they might have actually called him Brack. In the final episodes, I believe they do. You know, when they when the Council of Doom tries to, uh, you know, like kill Space Ghost for good. And there's also Jane and Jace, of course, um, and Blit the Monkey. Um, Space Ghost coast to coast. They make jokes about how, like in an episode, he, he was really terrible. He got kids, like teenagers, to uh, you know. Go on adventures and, you know, how they like they stunted them, like their growths and everything, as a result of the exposure to like radiations and other things when they were fighting with him. And this episode, they were suing him, and all this was coming to a head. And I guess, spoiler for that episode, they, uh, they all, uh, you know lawsuit doesn't happen because the lawyer doesn't, uh, you know, continue. There's like, you know, Dr. Nightmare, um, who was a, a, a villain in this show, became an attorney and, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, like apparently like Ted Turner is, is uh, like his father or something of the source, so because of that, and Space Ghost works for Cartoon Network, which is owned by T uh, Turner, he's not gonna be part of their lawsuit anymore, and then you know, they get mad at each other, and then you know, and Jace finally hits puberty. Uh, interesting. You know, I've talked about Space Ghost, 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 but it's also kind of fun how they referenced this show back in how, you know, this came out in 60, 1966, and in 1996 they had an episode where Space Ghost birthday and he was 30 years old. And then later somebody commented how he isn't uh, 30, he was a superhero in the 60s, but he couldn't have been a superhero when he was born, so he was actually has to be nearing his 50s now. That's just kind of fun how the, the Space Ghost Coast to Coast, uh, you know, the parody version that references the show often here and there throughout that run, you know, that just brings it back. Um, there was also another show in the 80s, Space Stars, I believe, that I remember also seeing on Boomerang. Uh, usually, if I recall correctly, they would, you know, they'd have this. And then they would have like some episode, an episode or two of Space Stars, which featured Space Ghost predominantly, but it also had other heroes of like Hanna Barbera had from like the '60s and all. Um, it was a uh, that was a very uh, fine show. Not I don't know if I would say it was better than this, but it was quite good. Um, that has not seen a DVD release, or, of course, you know, 
or Blu-ray. Um, I'm wondering what the deal with that is, but who knows? Maybe since this has uh, gotten a Blu-ray release, uh, at least in recent memory, as far as I've uh, seen, uh, didn't hear about it coming out last year or any few years prior. Um, so either it came out this year for the first time, or it has been out, and I just got the suggested uh, uh, looking at it to buy on Amazon just this year. Um, but yeah, uh, if you enjoy Space Ghost Coast to Coast like I do, you know that's my favorite show of all time. And you might want to pick up the uh, Blu-ray, especially if you've had the original series uh, that started it all from the from '66 uh, on DVD. Uh, but getting the Blu-ray is really good. It's uh, worth it. Um, same special features is there, so. There you go. There might have been like like other like little teasers or something for like uh, other releases on DVD of like Birdman and Herculoids and things of that nature. Um, that's not here, so that might be the only thing you're missing. Um, if you have the DVD and then you get the Blu-ray, um, I'm just trying to remember if that was the case. Though I remember the DVD, if recalling correctly, you had to flip it over. Those were sometimes kind of a pain, um, just because some of those were more vulnerable to scratches and such. Um, uh, though I don't know why. You can just have a normal DVD disc and just have ten episodes on each, like here, and the you know the second disc you have the special feature, um, like here. But who knows? Um, yeah, uh, you know, fantastic show. Um, I think I've warmed up to Dino Boy a bit more um, in that I found myself uh, re-watching it, you know, uh, not skipping Dino Boy at all. Um, and even though I know I said earlier I might skip a good chunk of uh, those segments upon any more viewings of this uh, uh, edition of this show. Um, there are some episodes I recall that I actually, there's some segments I do like. I think some of the first few I liked more than as it kind of went on. Um, I don't know why. I just, you know, it just didn't interest me too much. Um, but that's me. Uh, maybe you enjoy Dino Boy from this. And if so, that's great. Well, that is all I have for you today. Um, I hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're all having a, a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.